Okay, it's stable now. I'm going to tilt it. Here we go. Tilt, 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 tilt. Hi, I'm Jake here at, where are we? We're at Faraday Studios. Yeah, and we're wearing our special uh, Midnight Science Club. These are actually called smoking hats. They're not a fez. Yeah, I'm getting kind of bulky with the top of my head warm, but you look pretty stylish in that <laughs> thing. Thank you. So the question today is, Robert, you graduated high school, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to college, and he's going to study, what is it? Aeronautical engineering. He wants to be an aeronautical engineer. So this is, this is, I'm gonna get you to think like an engineer just for a second. And it's just based on this balloon and this old vacuum cleaner that blower. What did I put in the tube? A bunch of straws. Put a bunch of straws in there. When the air comes out of here, it's gonna be spinning a little bit. So what do you think these straws would do? Probably straighten it out. Man, give that one, <laughs> one for Robert. You're gonna take the balloon. It's got a balloon here. All right. And I'm gonna turn it, turn this, Put the balloon in the straight stream of air. And give me a prediction of what's gonna happen. Well, I would think if the air is strong enough, it's just gonna blow the balloon up and then blow send it, it off away. somewhere. Okay, kind of I think, think the air is strong enough to lift the balloon. Let's see if there's yeah. enough. There you go. Oh, there it goes. It's up and going. <laughs> so it's strong enough to blow it up, right? Yeah. What's gonna happen if I, when I tip this thing forward a little bit? Probably send it shooting off that way. And it would go off that way because? The airflow has changed direction. Airflow has changed direction. Grab your beard and go, huh. The old man's gonna hold this thing up like this, and Robert's gonna put the balloon in the stream. We know it's stream strong enough to hold it up, and then I'm gonna tip it sideways. Okay, there it is. I'm tipping more. Look at that. What's, what's up? Come on, engineer. I have no words to describe what I'm seeing right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't that amazing? It was. I wonder why. You know, you think it'd blow it away, right? Yeah. It does start to fall, but as soon as it starts to leave the stream, the air rushing over the top is going, so much of its energy is going that way that it's not pushing down with normal air pressure this way. So it makes a low pressure area here, and the air in the room, the air pressure in the room just holds it up there. And you see that shape right there? kind of like the leading edge of an airplane wing, right? That's why air, airplane wings are kind of got a curve to them. And air rushing over the top creates a lower air pressure on top of the balloon or wing. And so why doesn't it go, that's why it doesn't fall, but why does it not shoot out? See that look? Look, that's an aeronautical engineer stare. Look at him, he's going, let's see. Hey, check that out. Do you hear anything inside the balloon? Some kind of liquid. Yeah, I put a little water in there to give it some ballast. Same size balloon as that one. Let's see if you notice any difference. This one's a lot heavier. A little heavier, because I but guess what I did? Well, I would say you could put a denser liquid, but I'm assuming you probably just put more. There you go, see? So now you kind of overthink that there, engineer, <laughs> but that's all right. No, it is more gravity right here under this part of the table, and I don't know. No, no, I added a little more water to it, right? I just wanted a little more ballast. So this one might behave a little differently. Let's get rid of that one over there. <laughs> I think we're going to see a remarkable uh, change in behavior just with a little more weight. Here we go. Oh. Tilt it. Tilting it. Oh. It's still bouncing. It's still bouncing. What you're doing right now is you're trying to solve an aeronautical engineering riddle, aren't you? Yeah. Figure it this way. I don't want to give you the answer. What was touching the balloon? So it must be something to do with the air, right? We know gravity didn't change when this was going on. It's pulling down on the thing the whole time, right? So I want you to ponder that. You know, normally here at Midnight Science Club, we like to give you a nice answer because your curiosity is about to kill you about now. You know, why does that thing do that? Well, guess what? Sneaky old wizard is going to treat you like a scientist and an engineer. I'm going to have you figure it out. Because that's what I want. I want you to sharpen your science thinking skills. So I want you to ponder this a little bit. Why did that balloon, it weighed a little more. Why did it bounce in the middle of everything? It was bouncing back and forth. What could cause that? And that's the challenge I'm giving you. And maybe someday we'll put the answer to this, uh, this question we've posed on our social media. Where would you find the social media? Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. TikTok. TikTok. Yes, you can find us. We're all over the place. Yeah. We do have a Patreon. We do? Yeah. We have Patreon. I never would have thought. Yes, we do have Patreon. Aeronautical engineer. 
Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm. Wizard handshake. Uh -huh. <laughs> One more time, man. Yeah. Wizard handshake. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Robert.